Hello everyone, uh, let's quickly look at the short tutorial on how to do run the AC simulation of a low pass filter. Uh, so I've already uh, opened the cadence. So I'll quickly go and open a new cell view and I'll name the file as low pass filter and the type is schematic, not ADXL. Make sure you know that. And then we'll just go OK and the, tuto uh, the schematic is open. So I'll instantiate uh, resistor. I'll just bring the resistors. So here's the resistor. Rotate it. Here's R. And then I'll instantiate a capacitor. OK, so here's the capacitor. And then I'll instantiate uh, the, the ground. I'll just put the ground over here. And then I'll instantiate a sinusoidal signal, which, which will serve as an input. OK, click the W to wire the circuit. OK. So just go check and save uh, and then I'm going to label V out this net as a V out and then I'll fit the circuit. So uh, that looks good. Just let me okay do that. Okay. So uh, for the R, the default value is 1K, which is okay. For capacitor, let's put 2, two, two microfarad. Uh, or just use an odd number 2.5. I don't know. I'm just just using number 2.5 microfarad. Okay, and then we do check and save uh, for the sinusoidal wave. I'll go to the properties and I'll just set the ma AC magnitude as one. AC magnitude as one. Now we are not going to choose the frequency here because in AC simulation, what we are trying to do, we are going to sweep the frequency range and then look at the response of the filter okay so i've just set the ac magnitude as one and i haven't set the frequency once this is done we go check and save launch adxl create a new view uh, low pass filter yes that's what the view is and then go to the test uh, yes and then i'll go i'll say run the ac simulation uh, and the sweep variable is frequency and start from one to, I don't know, just using 100 kilo uh, hertz. Okay. That's it. Once this is done, uh, I'll choose the design. From design, I'll choose the output. So I'm choosing V out. All right, done. And then we go to ADXL again and V out is now chosen. Uh, I'll quickly close sorry I'll quickly select the environment variable so we'll go set up environment and I'll choose the 64 bit I'll say okay I'll close it so this is done now we can run the simulation okay simulation is running no error and then look at the plot all right so this is a low pass filter if you see, our input was one, the magnitude of voltage was one, and the low pass filter, what it's doing, it is, uh, it is go going to, to let the, uh, the frequencies of lower value to pass. And as the frequency starts increasing, the, the filter stop, stops dropping the output at a rate of 20 decibel per decade. So I can change the magnitude scale to a log scale. Yeah, so it will, it will start uh, making it down uh, at, at a rate of 20 decibel per decade. So over this decade, there must be a fall of 20 decibel. So if we see from this point to this point, a 20 decibel of the value should have decreased. And we can see this here, actually. A 20 decibel of the value uh, of the voltage signal is decreased. And we can look at the frequencies here. Just putting the pointer, we can see the frequency and the magnitude in millivolts. And... Uh, what else with this? I mean, uh, that's it. I mean, it's a low pass filter and actually the, the cutoff frequency is cutoff frequency is the is dependent upon the is dependent upon this 
these RNC values here. So if we can change the RNC values, we will see that the cutoff frequency uh, just goes different. I mean, so the, the cutoff frequency is dependent upon the, upon the value of RNC, like we know in filters. Okay, so for example, right now, 0 0.7. So let me see what is the cutoff frequency. It is around this point, say 710 millivolt. It's 63 hertz. Let's change the frequency very quickly. Very quickly, let me change the frequency. Let me close this. It's 73. Uh, I'll change the, the value of capacitor to, oh no, cancel, sorry. So I'll change the value to um, one microfarad. Okay, and this should be 1.1K, 1.1K. Sorry, it's 1.1 ohm, no, not 1.1. It's 1.1K. Okay, I'll go check and save. I'll go to ADX cell and run the simulation again. Okay, and then I'll plot. And here's my plot. What is the cutoff frequency? 7.700 millivolts will be here somewhere. Sorry, sorry. Here. Okay, you see my frequency is now 144 hertz. So our, the, the value of the cutoff frequency depends upon this RNC values. Thank you very much, and I hope this will help you to quickly run the AC simulation on filters. We can extend it uh, by changing it into uh, an active low pass, active high pass, and active band pass filters.